Kavu rope collection. Rope plaid bag, rope buzz bag. It's like an encyclopedia. The bags are endless. They're all rope bags, aren't they? What's the difference? And that's why I'm here. Dave Johnson here. Hi. It all started out with my Kavu. You know, the one rope bag. They had a rope bag. It was a rope sling, crossbody bag. And it's canvas. It was made out of canvas and it had black and white ropes on it. Now you can get pink ropes, fuzzy bags, ripstop bags. You can get coated canvas bags, thick canvas bags, skinny canvas bags, polyester bags. Tell me what you can't get. That's the great thing. So let's just go ahead and break it down. Hey, how you doing? Dave Johnson, put her there. Put her there. Hey, Dave Johnson, put her there. Up in the PN dub, I'm here to talk to you about the Cavu rope bag. Some people know it as my cavu. Now we have seven siete for people that speak Spanish. How do you wash it? What are the fabrics? And what is the difference? Well, there's a little difference in price because of the fabrics. It's all about the fabrics. Fabrics. It's all the same style. It's the same exact size. We got the four ropes here. We've got a buckle right here. Clips like that. So this is a rope bag. You can wear it like this. You can wear it like this. Sometimes they wear it, you know, kind of like this, but they're like doing stuff. I've seen it. So there is multiple options on the way you're gonna wear it. There's not one way, two ways. As long as you're having fun doing it your way. What is this for? This stretchy little piece of uh, elastic on the end of my little technique here. Some people want to do it really tight like this. And then other people, they kind of want to just give it like an inch and a half. So it's a bit more low profile, low profile. And it fits um, nicely here. You can choose your length. Got some bugs here. We're out in the PN dub. I want to show you the bag a bit. Come on a tour. Beautiful thing is it's padded back with this amazing embroidery. Nice stitch right down the back. This zipper here goes all the way through the bag. Party pocket. Put your stuff in there, let it party around. Hang out, mingle, maybe it'll meet someone. Hey, Chapstick, how you doing? Good, man, good, but my eyeliner or, hey, man, my keys, yeah, they just keep hanging out and I need them so much. So let's go ahead and take my keys and my Chapstick and maybe we move it over here to this little pocket. there. Man, now we have our watch band friend. Ah, oh, we're not gonna fit anymore. Oh, no, man, this cool little pocket. And it's not very safe to put your keys in. Let's just be honest with each other. Oh, we're gonna move over to here. Hey phone, how are you? Good, good, it's great to see you. Um, can we all hang out in here? Those are the pockets. This is the original Cavu rope bag. What's the difference? The difference is, the difference is the fabric. The fabric is where it all lies. We take our unicorn farm and we work with all these ideas and these things and we come up with fabric like this. Seriously, it is so fuzzy. A nice thing to take along if you're gonna go sit in the park and you got a pillow, you need a pillow. So the rope fuzz is fuzzy fabric. And as you can see, it's all fuzzy. Let's get fuzzy. Now the thing about the rope plaid is it also looks fuzzy. And it is, I'm not gonna lie to you. Why would I lie to you? I'm, not, I'm here to tell you the truth. It's the fabric, the fabric. This fabric here, poly cotton acrylic. Blah, blah, blah. What does that mean to me? <laughs> I'll tell you what it means. Well, what it means to me is that it feels as fuzzy as the rope fuzz, but then it's kind of got like a Pendleton flannel feel there. If you just joined us, hi, Dave Johnson, live. Nice to meet you. But there's a mix of polyester, acrylic, and cotton, and it kind of just has a nice vintage feel. This is the rope plaid, the original rope bag. It's the canvas. It's that nice 12 ounce canvas. And if you wear it a while, it fades. I've seen some super nice faded ones that have been around the world. This is a 600D polyester bag, and it's called the rope sling. The polyester allows water, dirt kind of to wipe off. It's got a super cool durable feel. Mm, you can probably take it anywhere. The rope pack. The rope pack's my jam. Why is it my jam? It's because of the fabrics, remember? What's the difference in all the bags? It's how water resistant they are and the fabrics. This fabric is a four ounce rip stop. Polyester. You can't rip me. Stop. You can't rip me. You can't rip the stop. Rip the stop. This is rip stop. I'm telling you, it's rip. Dude, stop ripping it. Okay, it's rip stop. And the nice thing is it packs down 
super small. You can stick it right on your duffel bag and travel anywhere you want in the world. Pop it out and it's your little to go on the go bag. Keep your things safe. Don't let people get your money. Come on, put it on the front when you're traveling. It's a smart way to go. And then you can put it on the back, go to the grocery store. These ones are also rad. This is the Rope Alusa. He's not a Alusa. I tell you what, he's a cruiser. The Rope Palooza, or she, he or she, is a real hefty bag. 16 ounce fabric. It's got some difference in the zippers. The zippers are a nice gold feel. It's thicker. The Ropette's my fave, one of my faves. It's a PU coated canvas and it's super water resistant. It's really awesome. Durable and it's thick. It kind of feels like wax coated canvas. It's got a sweet different label here. If you're looking for white label, if you're looking for white label, I'm in fashion school. I know, it's awesome, right? We're gonna zoom our way right into what's the most water resistant. Water resistance level. This one is the most water resistant. This is the Ropette. This is how Coconut LaCroix works on the Ropette. It literally just beads right off it. This is how Coconut LaCroix works on the Ropette. It's just unbelievable. So this is the second most water resistant. This one, this is how Coconut LaCroix works on the rope sling. This is the rope sling. It's got 600D polyester. It does beat off, but if you're in a super heavy Midwest thunderstorm or somewhere in the tropics down in Panama, you're gonna wanna probably bring the rope back. This one is the third most water resistant. That's coconut liqueur. So you can just kind of put it on there. Cool, so we started with one and now we got seven different styles of the rope bag. Let's go through them. You got the rope fuzz, rope plaid. No, I already went through them like a million times. So here's the deal. You know, I just poured the coil all over my bag. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna wash this thing. How do you wash your bag? How do I wash my cavu? That's a good question. Lots of questions about that. Well, you can wash it however you want. This is how we recommend you wash it. This is the one people probably wanna wash the most or know how to wash. It's the canvas one. You can get dirty. If you don't have a maroon print or light print, it can kinda get dirty. The thing about the canvas one, here's the deal. You buy the canvas one, the style, it's gonna fade. That's how it's made. So it's never gonna be this crispy. If you want a crispy colored bag, then you better get yourself a polyester bag. The color will be crisp for a long time. So, the way you clean these pups, you can take your bag, you can take a bucket of water, put it in there, cold, maybe warm if it's a little bit of a stain. You can put your bag on your porch flat, and you can brush, or you can dab it with a cloth that's wet. Basically spot wash it. Spot clean, cold water, air dry. Don't leave it out in the hot sun. That is the Cavu Rope Bag Collection. Sometimes it makes you just want to howl. Now it's finished. Now that we're through, I can be honest, honest with you. I'm not playing no rock.